Yeah, it's really good. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of excitement because there's so many players who this is their first tournament. Um, you know, people like Lauren Hem, Chloe Kelly, and, and Tooney, like Les. Just seeing their faces when they they found out they were picked, um, and that excitement just brings the buzz back. And like to players like myself and Jill have regularly gone to tournaments. Um, so yeah, the excitement's definitely there. Days like today makes it exciting and. Uh, yeah, everyone's just looking forward to it. It's in a good vibe at the minute. Yeah, big moment for Leah as well, captain in the side. Um, obviously, with, you know, Steph being um, not in the squad. So how big a moment is that for her? And what does she bring to the, to the side? Not just as a captain now, but as a player. Yeah, as a, as a player, Leah's obviously she's playing in midfield at the minute. She brings a bit more defensive uh, role to that position. Um, yeah, and as a captain, everybody knows her really well. I think... Sometimes people put too much pressure on the captain, to be honest. I've seen it with, with Steph previously, but Leah's still the player that she's always been in this England squad and she'll remain the same for us. A good person to have around, a good person to have on the pitch. and Yeah, it'll be a big moment for her, but I think she's the same as everybody else. You know, We've had plenty of leaders on the pitch, plenty of leaders in the squad who may not even you know, step on the pitch. Um, and I think it's important that we remember that as a, as a team, that it's not just falling on one person's shoulders, it's falling on 23 players. Do you think that's maybe been a negative thing in the past then? Because there was a lot of pressure on Steph in the past, and, and you know, there's been some big moments and big games where she had to step up. And so are you, as an you know, elder member of the squad, you know, yourself, Jill, Ella, yeah. Are you taking on that and helping Leo with that responsibility? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I spoke to Steph a lot in, in previous years and she told me about being given the captaincy so young and what pressures it put on her when, you know, she wasn't, she didn't know quite who she was as a captain and who she was as a leader and, and how it can be quite difficult to, to handle that. And I think the media especially are the ones that are putting the pressure on, on captains because I think from inside the squad and even the coaches and things, you know, you don't change as a person. People don't see you any differently, and, and we shouldn't see it like we shouldn't. You're the captain because you're the person that you, you who you are. It's not because you want to become something else or change who you are. It's for that reason only. And yeah, I mean, Steph felt that pressure a lot, um, although she probably didn't admit it at the time. I know it was difficult. I was her right-hand woman for a long time, um, and I could I could see it. So for Leah now, yeah, it's important that we have other people step up to the plate. Other people are are there to take the pressure off of her, to take the the pressure of what it means to be a leader in this team. So I think, yeah, maybe don't focus too much on on titles and just focus on us as a team. What's the message from Serena? She seems really calm. She won this tournament, and you must kind of be really excited about working with her as, as a winner. Yeah, definitely. She's been here. Um, she's done it before, so that experience is, is priceless. It's something that we've not had previously in a manager, uh, so it does make it a little bit easier. She knows potential things that could come up, but the only difference is this tournament is already, I think, sold twice as many tickets as the last tournament, and we've not even kicked <laughs> kicked the ball yet. Um, so yeah, I think that experience will bode us well um, on the pitch. We're playing really good football. Um, we've got 23 exceptional players ready to go out and, and do their all for the team. Um, and yeah, you can see her, her process and how she wants to put certain people together and try and build connections on the pitch all round. But yeah, I mean, it's difficult with the amount of talent that you've got to, to pick that 11. But she's all for building connections on the pitch and wants us to play exciting football that our fans want to get behind. Just a former player that you played with at uh, uh, Leon. Um, back with the national team you know a lot about her so is that going to be is that going to be um, good to play against her and what's she going to bring to that Norway side yeah it's fantastic I mean Ada she's won the Ballon d'Or she's one of the best uh, to have ever done it especially in front of goal um, I'm so pleased that she's back in the national team I think it's important that in women's football we have the best players playing in the big games especially international games and I, I love playing against the best players so I'm excited that she's going to be on that pitch against us uh, Come, is it the 11th or 12th? Uh, yeah, so I'm excited, but it, it's going to be good for the tournament. She's going to bring a lot of experience to Norway, although she's maybe not been there as often. She's an experienced winner. The girl has just got winning in her blood. That's her mentality. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good thing for Norway and a good thing for the tournament. Just finally, Barcelona. Are you excited about of course, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Uh, Barcelona wanted to sign me so I wanted to go there um, I did have the option of potentially going back to Lyon um, but yeah having the two best teams in the world 
uh, wanting to sign you is yeah, pretty nice. Uh, makes you feel pretty good about yourself, but Barcelona just seemed like a good new challenge and the manager had yeah, great ideas for how he wants me to play as a player and it's exactly what I want to be doing uh, on the pitch. So And yeah, it's not a bad place to be living either.